Okay. I don't know why they made Moriarty as safe as he was. Uh, I know in hindsight, we know that EO was going to come out and EO is another AOE uh, arts ruler who I believe has the same um, refund profile. Yeah, they have like very similar um, MP gain hit counts on their MP, even the norm like uh, MP damage on the MP. But because EO was MP5, Moriarty was pretty much immediately like sidelined. Because why would you choose an SSR that just was going to do less damage than a welfare? At, and that welfare would be at level 80, not 90. So you investing so many grails into Moriarty, like at only MP1, would just, it wouldn't be worth it. You trying to. Uh, grail moriarty to match an mp5 eo just doesn't happen he would need before he needed mp2 maybe mp3 to not even match but come just close that gap with this mp buff the gap is definitely closer and he has an advantage eo doesn't have but the comparison people are are gonna bring is not between eo it's melison and as we all know, Melison is stupid no matter what flash he is. If you're if you have to be compared to a Melison, the comparison just isn't fair. It's not. Melison is the most overtuned character. Her and Morgan are the two most overtuned characters for like in the game. Like each ver both versions of them, disgusting. Morgan's multi-core potential, her buster farming all of it's gross and melison the second she comes out she's the top of the meta and it's just been that way ruler moriarty like coming out when he did it just was an awkward time and then summer melison comes out a year later and just stomps him in the dust like he honestly probably should have had this mb buff last year but they weren't gonna do that because that would have affected summer melison sales definitely would have So let's get started. Um, we're not talking directly about Summer Melison. I just want to bring up points uh, that work against Moriarty and why he's been um, put in the wayside until he got this MP buff. Base attack immediately. It's 1,000 below the midpoint. Now, rulers have a positive modifier, and most of them have lower than average attack. Because, like, and I would say it has to go with this. And then it also has to do with the fact a lot of them have attack buff buffs. Uh, Kishi Wong, for example, um, he has a really solid attack buff on, I believe it's his skill and his, it might just be the MP, but he has a like super solid attack buff that if he had a higher base attack, that attack buff would scale with it. Moriarty doesn't have the attack buff in his kit though. So it's like, for me, it's kind of weird why his HP was this, or his attack was like this low and his HP was like this high. Cause almost 15K HP is very high. He is very tanky for a, um, a ruler. Most of them don't, I don't think most of them have HP this high. Uh, MP charge 0.37. This isn't great. Uh, he's if you want to use him with loop farming, he definitely needs more MP gain. Uh, if like just trying to use one cast story up might, it's probably not enough. Uh, you need other supports that can give a lot of MP gain because this might be similar to Summer Buki. He's lacking a hit on his MP. He's not a berserker, and he doesn't have MP gain. He does some have something else to help with his refund, but you should not be using it before turn uh, between turn three for farming. For CQs, it's different, but for farming, like to get the most out of his skill, you need to know whether or not the final enemy is evil or not. If they're not evil, you're gonna have some problems, but even if they're good, um, you're gonna have problems too. Like. He, like, he can do farming, but he would 
based on his kit, he would prefer to be in a CQ. Um, and just like spamming his MP during the CQ. Like using his art cart to force the refund. Because 0.37 is low for four hit art cards. It's not that low though, in considering like four hit arts is usually 0.47. So it's off by 0.1% or 0.1%, sorry, hiccups. 0.1% MP charge. Uh, but even then most of those servants have double arts, not triple. So again, it goes back he breaks he breaks bar there's still an enemy he face cards to refund his mp but even just in case he's fighting one enemy instead of three or more he is chaotic evil works with domen i i don't know why people would expect anything different because it's moriarty all right first skill two attacks three turns of dodge ignores evasion Arts res down for three turns, and then if you are fighting someone that is evil alignment, another 20%. This is so hard to make actual use of in farming. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna bring up this uh, MP damage chart. You are never going to see both of these active in a farming node. It is literally impossible uh, for the MP to get both good and evil alignment. You have to be fighting someone that's good. You have to MP them to make them evil. And then the next turn, you have to arch res them down. See what I mean? It's not possible in farming. CQs, completely different story. Uh, you just would not pop this on turn one. And then there's no issue. He's hitting max damage, all that stuff. But unfortunately for farming, if you if you need this for the refund, go for it. This is an AOE all res down, so it's, it will help with your farming. If you're like short uh, 10, 20 percent, this might be the difference. This might help too, but alignment is only servants. It's bosses. It's not trash mobs. You're not going to ever get this to proc on trash mobs unless you do not kill them. If you do kill them, the MP will put it on. But that is such a how, how I, I just want to talk at that point. I just want to talk how you MP with Moriarty and not kill the mobs all to get this. I, I just want to talk. Second skill, rainbow buff 30% for everything and 30% crit damage for three turns. Not this isn't a bad skill. It's just it's weird on him because he only has one quick and one buster. It's just it's just weird on him. Um, but for characters like Yui Shosetsu, this is a godsend because he gets all of her buffs without even trying. He does not need extra help. Yui, if paired with Ruler Scotty, gives the DPS all the buffs from her MP2. Rainbow buffers love Yui Shosetsu. Uh, so if you have her, try to incorporate her uh, when you're using Moriarty and a CQ. And you should get very good results. Uh, at least from the standpoint of an arts unit. Uh, again, Ruler Scotty is queen for that because does not matter who she's buffing if you use her with Yui Sh so Shosetsu. You're getting all the buffs from Yui's MP. Third skill. 50% battery, 20 star bomb, and then a chance to get either star weight for your arts card, star weight for your buster card. Oh boy. Um, oh, th this is what they had in common. Oh my fucking God. Okay. So Miss brought up a good point that all the servants that got buffed have something in common. And for, oh my fucking God, for Moriarty and Charlotte, it's the fact that their third skills had RNG shit that you couldn't choose. Oh my fuck. Oh. That's, 
Oh my god. I don't want to say I wanted this skill buff over the MP because I definitely no, I wanted the MP buff over buffing this, but that is such a stupid fucking connection. The other thing could be the European, but that's again, that's a low hanging fruit. That is such a fucking low hanging fruit. I I think the thing they had in common was RNG third skill. Now I'm annoyed. Passive skills, 10% crit damage. Conspiracy creation EX, 5% arts buff, 5% MP damage. Immune, and then panic cut. Immune to, uh, yeah. Cut. Panic cut, not cuck. <laughs> Charm debuff immunity. Confusion debuff immunity. Terror debuff immunity. Skill seal de debuff immunity. He is immune to mental debuffs almost in their entirety. Only thing that really works on him is MP seal, and I don't even think that's a mental debuff. Uh, so the normal version, uh, normal stun works. Um, immobilize, like the normal stun stuff all goes through him. It is literally just like mental debuffs. Okay, so what should you be picking for these meta loading first or skill reloading i all his cooldowns are on six so if you do get skill reloading they're all on the same cooldown which is something like tomo wants but at the same time he doesn't want to be popping this skill on the same turn as these so uh like depending on the node like it might actually not matter like you might uh over like reduce skill cooldown so fast that you actually this would like this would be on a two turn cooldown and these are on ones and you just pop tomo's mp just to pretty much reset it um yeah no that because after after the first mp uh, and you, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. But after the first MP, you should not need to delay popping this uh, from these two. The exception would be like if you, whether you need a battery or not. But if you're doing cooldown reduction teams, me personally, I would rather uh, always have the skills like be using the skills before I just start reducing cooldown so much. Like I want to save the battery for a better time, but by the time it is to use it, the other two skills come back off cooldown. Uh, so that that's just me personally. Like I would rather use something before I lose it when I'm doing uh, skill cooldown stuff. All right, let us talk about the MP. Four hit AOE, damage all enemies, super effective against good alignment, skill seals them, and inflicts evil alignment on them for three turns. This is to enable this to uh, like guarantee get the five uh 40 arts res down as long as he lands all the debuffs but he was being compared to melison so and eo this was not enough he had no ramp up um yeah it was pretty much no ramp up and just lack luster damage because low base attack and yeah like reliance on debuffs a good amount like this is almost mana burst levels uh a rainbow buff instead of a mana burst although like most of the time mana burst doesn't matter anymore so oversaturated in our buffs that uh, the difference between 20 and 30 percent for one unit when you're talking about like 150 percent arts versus 130 minimum it starts not to matter that much like getting arts res down would matter far far more than getting 50 here but that is kind of it Th these two up his damage and not by that much so MP buff, only thing that really changes is that he now ramps up MP damage along with the buffed MP. 
again, this he needed this. He definitely needed this to compare, uh, compete with EO. He needed this to somewhat compete with Melison. But I, I Melison literally has every single type of buff. He's only lacking in debuffs. So if you struggle at any time with Moriarty and you feel you need to use this first skill, he's going to fall off dramatically from Melison. While well, Melison is just gonna keep getting stronger, and she has, she gens so many stars that she can actually, um, if she doesn't kill something, she's just gonna crit it down. If Moriarty doesn't kill something, probably shit out of luck because there's a chance he's not gonna be able to crit it down. Uh, this the star weight for crits only lasts for one turn, and you cannot, if you don't have an Arts or Buster card, you're kind of screwed on this one. Um, right i actually should have gone back and talked about this um yeah so real quick like if you activate this card and you only have arts cards and you get the buster card you're shit out of luck if you want the buster card you have it you don't have any other cards and you get arts you're shit out of luck this rng skill really does suck for him only because he has a triple arts deck if this was a double arts double buster much less of an issue but still the thing that you cannot choose which one it's frustrating will they eventually buff this to make you choose probably if they did it for charlotte they'll probably do it for moriarty but yes this mp damage significant significantly ups his damage uh turn one to turn three uh you, you're probably gonna use him with black rail anyway uh on the mp chart his base damage is higher than Melison's. Um, does that mean Melison's gonna need a buff later? Absolutely fucking not. Because if you look here, this is practical. Chaotic alignment that are also Earth attributes. This is a practical number in farming. Good and evil alignment? I already said it's not practical in farming. CQs, yes. Farming, no you're more likely to look at good alignment. And even still, with a buffed NP, he still hits lower than Melison. When his is technically more likely to show up. Mel like, yes, Melison, chaotic or evil, they're lower modifiers. Uh, like Moriarty hits harder, but in, more niche situations earth alignment attribute it's trash mobs moriarty might actually get stuck on trash mobs melison won't chaotic boss it's as common as good or evil alignment there is at least a difference between the two and enough so that it's not melison is be all end all for aoe arts rulers but it still heavily favors Melison just because are you gonna have problems using Black Rail with Melison over Moriarty? Because Moriarty might actually have a problem with refund. Luckily, he's art, so use him with Castori and Oberon and then you're good to go. You're probably not worried about refund at all at that point. He's a ruler. He needs these mats. And he needs this and this. Uh, get to farming in Trom if you don't have it. Good luck if you don't have eggs. And same shit. Other Trom mat. And I feel we get comet shards more than we get eggs these days, but that's just me personally. Um, yeah, the, I always like rulers because it's like one silver mat and then one gold mat i would prefer that over like the huge cycles that they usually go for mostly because i would rather get stuck at eight than get stuck at four because i'm lacking gold mats and that can't you can't get stuck that early for rulers unless you don't do lottos so if you're stuck here make sure you do a lotto sorry not sorry 
Spawn CE, power mod against good alignment, power mod against evil alignment. 15% for both while he is on the field. Again, he needed this buff. Absolutely, he needed this buff. Because his competition was just too... It was too much better than him. Uh, even in a CQ, you would have chosen Mellison over Moriarty probably any day of the week because of how good her crit synergy is. She ramps up attack and she ramps up crit. Moriarty isn't doing that. Um, if it comes to the case where Mellison had not just one shot something uh, in a CQ, that's where you'll probably see, probably see Moriarty more. Um, like, because he... He would have an easier time clearing the first wave to help his ramp up. While Melison might not, she might leave them one shot uh, and cause issues in the run. Again, this is all theoretical. Um, like, I need actual gameplay to show that, and I just don't have it right now. Uh, I have, like, stuff to do this morning. So, yeah. This is Moriarty. Uh, he is that he's definitely more in line with where he should be um, Sucks and I didn't get this buff or and I didn't know about this buff because it probably would have impacted uh, His banner cells people might have summoned more for him or might have actually summoned for him if they didn't like I did on my main if there was a unit that Would eventually come Again, I'm not saying he's in the ballpark Melson. I'm not I'm just saying, like, he's, he's not nearly as bad as he was. This helps his refund. It helps his damage. He's, he's just going to hit harder now. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.